Well, hello there. Welcome to, I don't know what to call this, Wack Cousins Solo Gaming Adventures, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to be figuring out a lot of this as I go. So, um, I'm Wack Asm, and I will be playing Dice Throne Adventures today. Still getting a little used to my setup here. Um, trying to do things in real time that may or may not be too complicated to do. You shall find out. Anyway, uh, this is my third game. I played two games prior to this to kind of get used to the rules and to my table and other setup things. Um, so I am actually on scenario three. My goal to try and play every character to completion in the Thri Dice Throne universe, which I don't know, may or may not happen. That's like over 160 games worth of Dice Throne, but we shall see how it goes. So for now, um, this is game three. Uh, let me kind of show you where we are at. Bring up the uh, score sheet. So I won the first two games. Um, scenario one, uh, was, uh, I forget what they actually call the looting session. I'm going to be forgetting a lot of keywords, a portal crawl. That's what they call it. Um, was successful. Um, playing on normal difficulty. My team name is Wackasm. Probably will come up with more creative names in the future. Um, my player name is Wackasm and I'm playing the gunslinger. Um, Kind of shows the gunslinger randomly. They have a they have a randomizer cards. Um, I kind of took all the heroes that were of complexity three or less, shuffled them, chose one. Um, I think the gunslinger might be from season two. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, I, I think it is. Um, I would have to go check, but you know, someone can comment and let me know if you end up watching this. So anyway, uh, this is where we're at, session three, and uh, this is the uh, board setup we have here. Um, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll talk more about the game as we go. Um, I think I have the rules down, not 100% sure. Um, I have all the rules, but I, I think I have all the rules down. Sure, I'll mess up something. So hopefully, someone out there watches this and corrects me. Um, you know, if I make a rules mistake, I probably will. I often do, but I often try to play by the rules. So, um, yeah. So I guess let's get started. Um, I'm already missing something. I'm missing my character piece. Where did I put it? Let me let me go look for it. I set up everything except for this. Uh, trying to find it. I, I feel like I took it out, but here, where, where would I have put it? Aha, I found it. Okay, so. We are going to be starting on the Crimson Sands at the portal. This is where uh, every portal crawl starts. And we're just going to perform a little bit of setup here. So um, the first thing you do is you draw four cards. Uh, and I guess I'll show what those four cards are now. And just give my deck a shuffle. Um, I have most components sleeved, and the ones that I don't, I'll be sleeving as I go. There's a lot of cards and I need to get more sleeves, which I just got yesterday. So um, so you might see me sleeving in real time. So anyway, uh, I need to draw four cards and let's see what I got. So the first card, it is a 
um, an ability upgrade, um, which we'll talk more about these. I'll just leave them up there and grab them after the review. Heat lead, which kind of lets you add on extra damage and potential knockdown. Not that great of a card, I don't think. Um, a recall scroll too. This was one of my loot cards from one of the past two games. And uh, one more time, um, lets you perform an additional roll attempt. Not really sure how great the focus is here, but yeah. So those are my four starting cards. And um, you set up certain aspects of the game. So we're playing on normal. Um, and this tells us if you're playing one player, uh, your one player starts with 35 health. So let me set that up real quick. Um, trying to do it, doing some on screen um, components. Uh, so every time I update the health, you're going to see something here. But I also have a reference to all the important stats. Uh, on the bottom here, so on the bottom left to right is my health, combat points, how much gold I have, um, each enemy's health, each enemy's combat points, and how many salves um, we have. Uh, I believe we actually are starting with three, so let me fix that. Because the last game, I believe, yeah, we got to check that. Sorry. Yeah, last game we ended with three. Yeah, okay. You start with whatever you had from the last game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so with 35, we start with two combat points. So let me fix that. There we go, two. Um, starting gold, I don't remember what you start with. I want to say you start with, oh, you do. You start with 15 gold that's on here. Um, I should have this memorized already, but I don't. Uh, so 15 gold. Got to remember to hide those so they're not in your face the whole game. And, um, we'll adjust the minion and boss, or the minion health and stuff as we start playing. So uh, the turn order um, is actually this card first and then the turn order. Um, first thing I could do on my turn is I can heal, which I don't need to do. I could spend this to heal. Uh, let's see, for this portal crawl, it's three plus one uh, per portal shard, which is something else I need to set up. So we have to put down all the components on the board. So, um, we've got portal shards. Actually, I have this sideways because of the table space. So, let's see if I can fix this. This is supposed to be there. Here, get some more salves and a couple loot tokens, and then we're good to go. I'm never actually sure pronunciation of sav or solve, but I've been corrected too many times and call it sav now. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. Next time I will probably have all of this set up before we start, but I was really anxious to just start recording and getting used to how all of this works. And I think there's just this. And I think that's everything. I'll put this up on screen. You can tell me if I'm missing anything. I also notice my camera is trying to refocus. It's not supposed to be doing that. So hopefully I can fix that real quick too. Give me a second. Hopefully it will stop trying to refocus now. Maybe I'll edit out some of this stuff, but the reason why I'm leaving it is part of my hope is to eventually just use this 
knowledge to just live stream some board games. All right, so I've got four cards. Um, I've set up everything. So I could heal. Um, I would only be healing three points right now. So there's really no point in doing it on the first turn. You can overheal by 10 points, but we're not going to do that. So the next thing I can do is move. Um, we could just start going straight to any of the three directions that we need to go. Um, I guess I'll, I don't know which, so I'll go north. We'll start here and we'll flip this over. We got a pensive pond. Curious, just curious. I probably won't do this for every single card, but I'm curious if this reads better if I put it here. Pensive pond, roll one dice on a one or two. Um, gain a parasite on a three, four. I get to heal three on a five or six. Heal all heroes too. So let's try that out and see what happens. I feel like I'm also going to be breathing into this mic. I need to get a, a more flexible mic right now. It's stuck and I have to like lean into it. So I apologize for any heavy breathing. Anyway, here it goes. So on a four, um, I get to heal three or yeah, three. So let's do that. Myself, three hit points. One, two, three, puts me at 38. Uh, next, we get to fight um, a level one enemy. I have my pile of enemy cards here. I think I shuffled it already, but just in case, I'm going to shuffle it once more. And I will reveal a lost swordsman. So um, they do not have first strike, but they do have 11 health. So let's adjust that. Um, I got to get better at this and faster. There we go. 11 HP and zero CP. That looks correct. Okay. And uh, CP is pretty good uh, when they don't have CP, when I'm fighting things uh, specifically because of the gunslinger's abilities. I guess we'll talk about that real quick and then we'll get into rolling and killing things. Um, so for those who may not be familiar with the Gunslinger, just as a quick recap, this is everything you really need to know. Um, it has an ability called Evasive, which lets you pretty much uh, evade damage potentially. Um, it gets a reload every upkeep, which I should be getting right now actually, uh, as soon as I start my turn. Um, and uh, basically lets you do a little bit more damage. It's really good to combine with undefendable damage, at least so far in my playing. Uh, there's something called knockdown, which is the part that matters with the CP. If you can give uh, your enemy a knockdown token, they have to spend two CP before they get to act. So on enemies that don't have any CP, like the Lost Swordsman, um, they don't get to, you know, take their turn. Uh, they don't get an offensive roll phase, which is pretty much all they get. Um, and then uh, I have a, something called Bounty, which basically gives me plus one damage and a plus one CP every time I uh, attack them. Um, so that's kind of the, the summary of everything about the Gunslinger. If you have any questions, I don't know, post them in the comments or live chat if I at it so anyway uh so i'm just kind of in the beginning gonna cover everything a little bit more concretely and then hopefully i'll get used to this and speed up but turn order first is the upkeep phase um this is where you get a card no no you just get upkeep you get to get all your effects um, which for me is i get a reload token then is the income phase i get a card uh, which in this case is uh, a roulette, which 
increase the player and different effects happen um, based on what I get. Um, and then I get one CP. So I'm at three CP now. So um, now is the main phase and I get to play ability upgrades, um, play main phase card actions. Um, I can sell cards at this point if I want to. So since I have one upgrade, uh, this Fen Hammer card, I'm probably just gonna get this out first. This gives me an extra skill to deal with. It costs two CP. So I'll use that right now and put it in the right spot. And it gives me this extra um, pistol whip action, um, which potentially lets me get evasive, inflict uh, knockdown, and does at least one undefendable damage, which is good because it combines with my reload. I um, think that's all I'm going to spend on my first turn. Um, yeah, it's the first enemy. Nothing really worth doing. So then I get my offensive roll phase. So I'm gonna take my five dice. And this is the part I really gotta get used to. I probably should have put this dice tray closer to me, but we shall see. All right, so I already, with this roll, um, actually, no, I don't. I'm already mixing up abilities. So I'm gonna keep the two sixes. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep the two sixes to start with. Um, and uh, I guess I'll put the dice that I'm keeping here. That probably makes the most sense. Uh, we'll just see what I can get on my second roll. You get three rolls. Not quite what I wanted. Um, so right now I'm in a weird position. I'm probably just gonna keep what I have, which is this. Um, this way I can play my bounty hunter, get a couple extra CP points. Um, I was kind of hoping, actually, I mean, they do a lot of damage. I was really hoping to get this, that knockdown early on. Um, knockdown early on and not taking damage is really good. And this pistol whip's really good because I can start building up my evasive too. Uh, uh, whatever, I'll risk it on this first roll. It's probably a horrible idea, but this is how we learn, so. So I got what I was looking for, uh, which was two of these. I mean, I was hoping for four of the sixes, but uh, this lets us play our pistol whip, which is uh, right here. I can gain an evasive. I get to inflict knockdown and uh, I get to deal one undefendable damage. Uh, but since I have a reload, I can spend it and um, I get to roll one dice. So let's do that real quick. And uh, it lets me do half the value as damage rounded up. So that's uh, 2.5 rounded up to three. Um, so that is uh, four undefendable damage. Uh, so since it's undefendable, they don't even get this um, this defense roll right here. Um, so it just automatically uh, they get hit. So um, let's deduct four health. One, two, three, four. Okay. And so it's be an offensive roll. Targeting phase, we don't worry about because it's solo. And then a defensive roll, um, which they don't get because it was undefinable damage. Get another main phase, which I could play some cards if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Uh, and then I could discard if I needed to. I'm not going to. All right, so now it's their turn. Um, they get to do basically only the offensive roll and defensive roll phase. Um, everything else gets skipped. They don't get upkeep. Actually, I think they get income. I should probably double check that. I just did the boss phase last time, which the boss definitely does. Um, no, no, they they don't. They skip that phase. I was correct. 
So they uh, just get an offensive roll, defensive roll. Yeah. Hopefully after like 20 plays, I'll have these rolls down, or hopefully in the next few minutes. So they would they would try to roll, and they would get their three rolls, and they would try to get these three symbols. But because I knocked them down, and they don't have any combat points to uh, pay, they instead just get rid of the token. Um, and then they remove the token. Um, so they do nothing. So it's my turn again. So I get another uh, full uh, upkeep. Actually, I get a, a reload because of this quick draw passive, which is right here. Um, an income phase. So I'm at plus one CP. Puts me at two. And then I get a card. So helping hand, uh, select one of your opponents, dice, and force them to re-roll it. It's pretty good to have in certain situations. Um, yep, so I'm now just going to do my main phase. I'm not going to roll any dice. I mean, I'm not going to spend any cards. I am going to roll my dice, though. So here we go. So, got to get used to this. Uh, there we go. That's what I rolled. So, um, I got a little bit of everything. I got a six, five, four. if I wanted to go for a straight, which is not horrible. I might go for a straight. So six, five, four. And worst case, um, I already have a pistol whip. So I'm just going to go for it, I guess. So I got a three. I now have a small straight. But I would not mind a large straight so I can get an extra evasive. I did not get it. I got a six. Um, so, um, do I want to just do the damage or do I want to inflict knockdown, evasive, and undefendable damage? I think I'm going to do the pistol whip again since I did not get the large straight. This way I can get another evasive, start building those up for when damage starts actually happening. He's going to get knocked down, poor lost swordsman, and I'm going to deal one plus to spend my reload. Got to remember to do that before rolling the dice. I got a six, so it's a nice three damage. Um, yeah, so that's four more damage to him. One, two, three, four. So he is at three health. Okay. Uh, Main phase, uh, he doesn't get a defense uh, a defense roll phase because it's undefendable. Uh, main phase, I'm not going to play any cards. I'm at five cards now. And uh, discard, not going to. So he's going to go. He has to pay two. He can't, so he gets rid of the knockdown. And that's his all turn again. Um, so I'm going to go. Upkeep phase, I'm going to get a reload. Income phase, gain one CP and a card. Get rid of that. Um, running gun. Um, do I already have this? No, I have roulette. Okay, they just look similar. Um, another way to get more stuff, either an extra card or inflict bounty. I do have six cards now, so I'm gonna to have to start using stuff somewhere. Uh, so let's let's take our turn and see if I want to use anything. So I'm gonna roll. I got nothing great. I only need to do three damage. Um, but I prefer not giving him a defensive roll because he does damage um, based on his defensive roll, and I'd rather just not have to take any damage. So we're going to just keep going for this evasive and see what happens. Not what I wanted, but I do have a small straight. So do I want to keep the straight, or do I want to go for broke? I'm gonna go for broke and go for the pistol whip. I have cards and CPU to spend if I need to, so 
Let's see. I did get the six and the other dice don't really matter. So again, we'll just keep pistol whipping this lost swordsman, poor guy. Or yeah, I think it's a guy based on the image. Um, so we get another evasive. We get to inflict knockdown again. We will deal one undefendable damage and we will use our reload. Keep getting these good reloads of uh, three. So that's four undefendable damage. I think that kills him. Uh, so he he dies. He's he's done. Doesn't even, don't even need to knock down. But we got three evasives, so that's good. Um, so we'll just slide this up for now, out of the way. Oh, we gotta get our loot first. So he gives us a loot reward of one. So this is the loot table, which should be on this side. And we get to roll a d20. So let's see what we get. Roll a four. So that just gives us a plus two power bonus that we can just use on a future attempt at doing damage. So not a horrible start. Um, I guess we will now continue our turn. Um, I'm not going to spend a sab to heal. I'm going to move. We'll go north. We'll grab this sab right here. So uh, we immediately get plus one CP. So that puts us at four CP. Um, get that out of your face. Probably, I don't know, I'll think about that stuff later. Um, all heroes choose to discard half their cards, rounded up, then draw three. All heroes choose and discard. Okay, so I get to get rid of three of these cards and then draw three. So not great, not horrible. Um, also should have noted, I any of these loot cards, you can discard and draw another card at any time. Um, but I'm gonna hold on to this. So I'm definitely going to, okay, so uh, we, we know the effect, so let's just put this down. So I think for sure I'm gonna get rid of um, this eat lead. It's hard to get the, the bonus out of it. Um, not sure if I want to get rid of. Okay, this lets us draw another card. So we'll get rid of this roulette and. And we'll get rid of this one more time for now. Uh, it's probably not the greatest cards to get rid of, but I don't really have a choice. So uh, I probably should get a. I, sh I should keep my cards in view. Looking at them, that's something I gotta start doing a better job of. Um, anyway, so I get to draw three cards. So let's also show you what I draw. Pull up. So I have tons of card draw right now. Um, change the value of any dice. These are expensive of card. Here we go on another upgrade. Something we were hoping to get. Uh, upgrades my take cover gives me another option as well which we like on cards. Okay, so now I've done that and I am going to draw another enemy to fight. There we go. So in a minion battle, I could heal first if I wanted to. I'm not going to. Um, then I, sorry, got distracted by something. Uh, they don't have first strike, so we don't have to worry about that. So uh, I get to fight them. So let's kind of look at them a little bit so we can decide what we want to do. First, we have to set up their hit points. So they have 11 hit points and no CP. So no CP is good for us. Um, so I'm probably going to go with a similar strategy of just not giving them any turns. So uh, upkeep phase. Um, I get a reload. Thank you. Income phase. 
I'm going to get a card. And uh, I got a regenerating orb, which is equipment. This was another loot card. I'm going to get this out right away, too. Um, this just makes our salves um, stronger. Um, we heal more when we use them. So let's get that out right now. They don't really have an equipment slot per se, so I guess we'll put it here for now. Um, next, we're gonna upgrade our take cover. Oh, um, I also, did I give myself the CP already? I don't know, but since I can't remember, I'm not going to give myself it. I might've just hosed myself and lost the CP, but gotta remember to do that. Uh, anyway, take cover, we're gonna upgrade it right here. Plus two CP. And that is it for my main phase. So now I will uh, attack with all my dice. To get rid of the loot dice. We're gonna need it soon, but not yet. So this is looking pretty good. I could easily just stop here um, and take my pistol whip, but I have three evasive already. So what I am gonna do instead is roll these two. I'm gonna roll one dice first and let's just see what I get. If I get another six, then I might decide to gamble for another one. And of course, it's exactly what happens. So if I decide to gamble, um, I can change the value of any one die if I need to. Um, but we'll, we'll just play it safe, I think. And six undefendable damage is pretty good though. And a knockdown. Select one of your opponent's dice and force them to reroll it. Oof, okay. Want to gamble. Yeah, let's just gamble. I have this card in my hand. I, I'm gonna keep hitting my hand limit early, so I have to kind of spend these cards in the beginning anyway. Um, otherwise, I'd just hold on to all of them for the harder enemies. So last roll. I said I was gonna put my dice up here. I didn't mean to do that. So we got it. We got our dead eye, uh, which is this right here. Um, so we're gonna inflict our knockdown. Boom. We're gonna deal six undefendable damage. Pew, pew. Um, they're down to five. And um yeah, I'm not even gonna use my reload now. I'll, I'll hold on to that too for now. Although I could kill them all in one turn. I don't I don't I don't need to kill them in one turn. Um anyway, so that is my turn. Another main phase, which I am not going to use any cards and uh it's their turn um they once again cannot cannot attack me because i knocked them down and uh they're not going to do anything so on my turn i'm going to uh upkeep get a second reload that's the the limit we have a everything has a, a limit i'm at my limit on evasive and reload right now um I gotta stop saying, um, thinking out loud my thoughts to the world. Uh, yeah, so I get to draw a card. That's what I need to do. Card and another upgrade. We like that. Upgrades my bounty hunter. And I get a CP. So that puts me at three CP. I am going to play my bounty hunter immediately. And lose the CP. And that is everything during my main phase. So now we're going to roll dice. And of course, I can show it. There we go. Um, so, not the greatest starting roll. This would be a great starting roll if, um, if I needed the evasive for take cover. Um, but they only have five health and their defense roll um it's only two dice and they can steal health from me but they can only i, I guess steal 
two health. So that at most they effectively have seven health. So I might as well just do this. Heal the six damage and use a reload. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so we're gonna keep this roll. First roll we're gonna keep. We are gonna spend a reload. I will use one of, I'll use my dice. I got a four, that's two damage. Uh, so that is eight defendable damage. So they are gonna defend this because they are not knocked down this time. So they're gonna roll two dice. And they heal nothing with this outcome. So they're just gonna take the damage and poof, dead, done, over. So I get a reward. So let's roll the reward dice. Roll the 10 and a 10 on the reward is two health. So we'll, we'll take the two health. Puts me at 40. All right, and they are, they're dead. So um, we'll push them off. I need like a, a boss is dead button. It just reset them down to zero every time. Not sure if I need to do this every time, but I guess I will for now. Okay, so that is it for that room. So we will continue on. Question is, do I want to fight something really hard now or later? Um, I guess later. So if I didn't say it, the objective is to get these three sides of a dice to get this like golden dice key thing um so we can go fight the the portal boss um so for now we are going to go east keep it a little safe and um much mirage this is not anyway i get the roll of dice on a one or two um me and a chosen teammate are inflicted with concussion on a three or five, we spawn an enemy, and on a six, we just gain two CP. So let's see what fate has for us. Let's roll an enemy dice for this. I rolled a three, so I am just going to spawn a blue enemy. So this is a level two enemy, and they do strike first. So for this battle, um, I could heal. I'm not going to. They're going to take their turn first. So they are just going to get right into it and roll five dice. Their aim is to get five of those yellow swirlies. And they only got one. They got a second one right there. And they did not get all their swirlies, but they do deal damage based on how many swirlies they get. Um, so they get three swirlies, they deal four undefendable damage. So now it's being reversed on me, and I'm taking damage that I can't block. So one, two, four. There we go. All right, so that is that's their whole turn. So it is now. Oh, I I did not do their health. They only have ten health, and they have three CP. So our knockdown strategy is not going to be as effective. One, two, three. There we go. So uh, let's start our offense and see what happens. But before we do that, upkeep, get a reload. Income phase, get a card, move that. So I drew a transference. This is another loot that I got. Um, transfer a status effect that's upgraded. So basically it just means it costs less CP. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so um, I also get a CP, which I don't think I gave myself that yet. So I am going to discard these two cards to draw two because I have more powers I can upgrade and I'll eventually see these cards again. 
And there we go. There's one of my upgrades. Those are the two cards I drew. So we're going to play this this upgrade to Deadeye. Um, not this time. Also is a good card because it blocks a lot of damage. I like to have that on my hand at all times. So on my turn, um, going to upgrade this Deadeye. So now we have an option when we have three sixes to do something, which gives us a little bit more flexibility in our choices. That's going to cost two CP. Okay. And now, now, now I fight. All right, so we're starting off pretty strong. I'm going to keep the two sixes. Since now I have stuff I can hit. I'm going to probably start trying to get Bounty out more often now. But this this guy only or this horned harpy, she only has ten health, so if I can get this dead eye two to trigger, I can maybe kill her. I can definitely kill her in the in one turn, which would not be too bad. So let's roll again. Not what I was looking for. Um, I do have a small straight right now. What is her defense? Ooh, she can prevent half damage. So we are gonna we're gonna keep going for undefendable damage. Um, she rolls three dice, can defend half her damage, or she can ignore all damage. We don't. We don't like that at all, so let's see what we can do. So we got a third, but I don't like the other two dice that I rolled. So let's see if we have any cards that can do anything about this. Um, yeah, we'll just use our so wild now. It feels kind of early to use it, but... Um, I don't like that she can prevent my damage, and I don't really need the evasive um, from the enforcer. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Change the value of any one dice. We're gonna change this five to a six, and we're gonna just do eight undefendable damage. We will use a reload, see what we get. That's another two damage because 1.5 rounded up is two. That's 10 undefendable damage and she's dead. Um, we do get a, a two meat. That's a four. So we check and a four is uh, another plus two. I don't know if there is a limit on these power charges. Where is the rule book? Let's take a look. Um, back limit two. Okay, good to know. I have to start using them at some point. All right, so that is the end of that battle. Um, we were here. Uh, let's go east. I know I'm gonna start running in the stuff that's gonna make me lose everything that's on my character. Uh, so I need to start using it. I just realized I probably could have evaded the damage that I got or two, but oh well, I forgot to use it. So we're gonna go east first. And no, let's let's do the smart thing and see if we get an upgrade by going north. So this immediately lets us roll the loot die and we get a salve. So I'm up to five salves. I need to update my UI here. There we go, five. Um, let's roll for a one. And we got a seven. So a seven is just plus, plus two CP. Not bad, I'll take it. Um, now we flip this over. So Twisted Roots gain Entangle. I have no idea what Entangle is. We also immediately get two gold, plus two gold. Um, ooh, and then I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage. Max three damage. Entangle, negative status. A player afflicted with this token gets one fewer roll attempts during their next offensive roll phase. At the conclusion, you remove this token. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. So, 
I'm entangled. I take three damage. Two, three. Okay. And now we summon a level two enemy. And we have another first strike, uh, Raging Centaur. Okay. I wonder if this would help. Let's try this. This might be stupid, but we're going to try it just because that's what this is. It's all designed to do. If I do this, you can see the card, but it doesn't actually fix the focus. So I guess that's not really that helpful. Um, it would have to be this high up. I need a better camera is what I need. Um, anyway, um, I thought that would be a nice effect. No, I don't even need to bring it over. It's kind of perfect. Um, you get a nice blurry view of this raging centaur. I say perfect a lot too. Um, I'm perfect. All right, so I could heal. I'm not going to heal. First strike, he is going to roll. So let's just get that taken care of first. Um, we gotta zoom back, show the dice, and so he is aiming for almost exactly got exactly what he what he wanted. He wants a red. Two yellow swirlies and two claws. He got one claw. So before I do anything, he doesn't deal that much damage. Um, he does eat up good statuses, but that's not the end of the world. So you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna let him punch me. I have four cards. I don't need to spend another one right now. He got exactly what he wanted. Um, so he's going to deal six damage to me. Um, I immediately, I wish they did this like in a different order. It should be above the deal six damage. Like, I don't know for this particular card if I do the active player immediately before the damage and if it would, if it would happen if I dealt four damage. This is the type of stuff I, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, so I want to take six damage, but I get to defend against it. So let's do that first. And I can immediately lose a positive effect. So let's, let's lose a reload. I get those back pretty easily. Um, so first I can use my defensive ability, which is a duel. We both roll one dice and it was a tie. So on a tie, um, I lose and I don't defend anything. Um, but I deal one damage to them. So I did forget to reset their health. So they are at 15 and two CP. So knockdown could eventually, uh, be useful, but, um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, and they can knock me down, I just noticed. So they take one damage. Yeah, so they are at 14. Uh, so now I have six damage coming to me. I have the opportunity to block with a, an evasive. So the way evasive works, block with an evasive. I have an opportunity to evade with an evasive. When a player with evasive receives damage, they may choose to spend this token. If roll spend, uh, roll one dice. If the outcome's a one or a two, I evade it. It was a two, so I take zero damage, which is the power of the evasives. Uh, perfect. So now it is my turn, and I will first do my upkeep, get a reload. Then I will get a card. Same Z's, I can change the value of uh, one of my dice to another dice. Um, pretty handy card when you need it. Uh, and I get a CP. And I'm gonna roll. All right, so their defense, they can knock 
me down, but they roll three dice. So I could immediately, um, and I only get two rolls this time too. I have to keep that in the back of my mind. So I either have a small straight, um, which would let me deal damage, or I can immediately mark the target, get my evasive back and give them downy, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, at least I'll get a, a bunch of CP out of the deal. But I think since they don't actually bend against damage, I'm just gonna do whatever gives me the most damage right now. Uh, so I'm gonna take cover. So take cover right now. I deal six damage and I get an evasive back. Uh, this entangled goes away. Uh, so six damage uh, to the centaur. They're going to defend with three. And on, what's that? Yellow. Yeah. Uh, so I get knocked down. So I'll use my own knockdown token. Uh, so now if I want to attack, I have to spend two CP. Um, is it worth trying to stop that from happening? Probably not. Yeah, that's not worth it. So now uh, it is their turn. They are going to try to beat me up. So let's roll for them. I that gold counter. Ooh, on their first roll, they got exactly what they wanted again. Yippee. Uh, yep, so same thing. Six damage to me. I immediately discard a good thing. I'm going to get rid of... Um, my reload um I have to remember too i did damage to them so i did six damage so uh first i get to roll so i have the option of evading first and then trying to duel um the only benefit of doing it that way is if i block all the damage then I can make the choice if I want to. Um, first, I get more value out of my evasive if I do that. Um, and then I get the op opportunity to deal damage back to them. So in this particular case, I probably should have done it that way last time too. I'm going to evade first at least once just to see what I get. I could be wrong with my logic here, but blocking six with an evade sounds better. So I am going to be evading, but I still get my defensive roll um, as well. And as far as I'm aware of the timing, I can choose either or. I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that, but if I'm incorrect, hopefully someone will you know, correct me. So in this particular case, I lost the defense roll again, so um, I can only inflict one damage back. So that puts them at seven health. So not too bad, I take no damage again, and uh, their turn is over. My turn goes upkeep, I get my reload back. Uh, income phase, I get a card. Uh, bye bye remove a status effect token from a chosen player. Hide that. And um, I'm at six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, um, I got a CP. I do have to spend two. Hmm. When do I have to spend down the knockdown? To remove this token, a player afflicted with it must spend two CP before the start of an offensive roll phase. Uh, oh, a bye bye is basically the exact same. So, um, yeah, I'll just spend the two CP. Get rid of my knockdown. And I. that's it. I will. I will attack the raging centaur curious if knockdown persists let's check that real quick i think it does to remove this token yeah so i'm assuming if i get knocked down here on my next fight i'm still knocked down that's how i'm going to play it anyway anyway uh almost the, the exact same role as last time um dealing six damage um 
and get my evasive back. So I'm going to just take cover. Um, take cover again. I'm going to be dealing six damage. Um, do I want to? Yes, I do. I'm going to use my reload to guarantee death to the centaur. Actually, do I want to use a card to do this? I got rid of the, the card I would have used for this, which is unfortunate, but um, yeah, I will, I will take cover. I'll use my reload and just hope he doesn't roll uh, yellow swirly, which he probably will. Um, so I'm dealing six damage. I do gain an evasive. Worst case, I, I lose an evasive. Um, and I roll a dice to see what extra damage I do. It's an extra three damage. So that's going to be nine to him. He's going to defend. Ooh, no defense. So I do not get knocked down. Um, he dies. I get uh, a level two reward. It is a 14, and a 14 on a, on a two loot is two gold. So let's get that. I do, puts me at 19 gold. Um, that's it. Bye bye. So that is the end of that. I completely lost the tile for this enemy. Either that or I put it back in the wrong spot. I think I put it back in the wrong spot. No. I'm losing my mind. Where, where, where did I put you? No, I did. I just put it back in the wrong spot. I got entangled this turn. Okay. So we're just going to discover so first, we got our first uh, golden dice piece. Probably a name for that. I should probably look it up. Next, next. Um, lonely stack. You search your deck for or that costs two or less and put it into play. Then shuffle your deck. I like this tile. This is a good tile. So we are going to search... I think I know exactly what I'm going to search for. If I can find it, is it not in here? My, did I not put all my cards? I feel like I'm missing. I'm miss oh, no, it's right here. It's, it's purple. Um, Yeah, I'm going to get my quick draw two out. Where do I want my defense? No, the defense is three, so I can't get that one. So quick draw. I don't think I have to pay for this, so I'm not going to. So this basically gives me a reload, and anytime I use a reload, I can reroll that once. So it adds up, in my opinion. I've gotten most of the other important upgrades, so I'm not too unhappy with this. I feel like there is a level three card though. Hold on, let me check. There is a showdown level three, but that costs three CP too, so. I don't know. I th before playing this, I thought there'd be like more upgrade cards, but there is not that many. I thought everything would have a level three. Kind of disappointed with that, if I'm being honest. All right, so that is it. We're gonna fight. So let's put this tile back down, and let's summon our next big bad, which a vicious viper. So they start at 12 health and 2 CP. They do not get first strike. So at the beginning of the minion turn, I could heal with a salve. I'm not going to. Um, so I'm just going to attack. Actually, no. I got to do my upkeep and income phase. I think I'm at seven cards now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am. So at the end of my turn, I have to get rid of one if I don't use one. And I get a CP. Four CP. So 
So I am not entangled anymore. So we're just gonna go big and try and get our dead eye too. So I could stop here and get my bounty out. But I have to use a card, right, at some point. So at worst, I can use a Sainzies or um, a Sainzies. So we'll we'll just see if I get lucky or not and roll these these last two. I don't. You know what? I am not going to use the Sainzies. No, I am not. Good. Because I could then just kill. Let's see what they can do. They can do seven damage. That's defendable. They can give me poison, which is probably not good. But I have ways to get rid of poison. They cannot actually defend any damage. So, do I want to go for the big one turn kill? Well, I have to use a card, but Samesy is such a good card to use. Don't really have any good use out of all my other cards right now. So I'm gonna go big because I gotta use a card anyway. Sorry. I'll probably regret this once I get to the harder enemies. But same Z's plus one hero point. Turn this into a six. And I feel like so when I played this the first time, there were a lot of tiles and things that made me get rid of positive stuff. So I'm just going to use these plus twos now, because I'm doing exactly 12 damage if I do that. 12 undefendable. And I don't like it. It makes me feel dirty. I'd rather hold on to these. But I am going to feel worse if they get taken away from me without being used, or if I roll this loot die and get another four. So... We're just going to kill the Vicious Viper in one big Deadeye 2 swoop and beep, 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 beep. And we'll see if I regret this later. Um, yep, so Vicious Viper is dead. We will roll the loot die. We rolled a 19, so we get an unidentified rare loot card. So, um way fix my card deck here i already drew the card these are not sleeved yet i'm sleeving them as but starting from now i'm not going to shuffle that deck anymore i'm just gonna take one at a time put them back bottom sleeved as i go i don't know what this is so what we do is we put it underneath our board, which I hate doing because I have to move my board and I don't want to do that. But that is loot that we can potentially get at the end of this portal run now. All right, so that is that. Is that. So, so far, so good. Um, I guess let's go down and clear out this this other green tile. So, Cascade Cliffs, remove all status effects from the active player and draw one card. It's almost like I called this. All status is good and bad, so I lose all my evasives, my reload, all that work. And then I fight a, fight a green, green enemy, and I draw a card. So I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I drew a twice as wild, change the values of any two dice. Okay, um, let's see what we fight. A shadow archer with 10 health. Um, three CP. Um, they deal damage, 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 damage. Um, and they can potentially inflict something I have no idea. Silence. So that's probably not good. But I'm not even going to look up what silence is until I get it. Um, and they can prevent three damage. So um, so I could, on the beginning of this, I could heal. I'm not going to. 
they don't have first strike, so I get first strike. But before that happens, um, I'm going to get my reload. I'm going to get another card, which is a 6-8. Six, six, change the value of one of your dice to a 6. And um, I get a CP. So I'm back to 4 CP. And if I don't use cards, I'm probably going to have a lot more CP. So now we fight. So we're just going to stick with this plan. And um, we're going to keep a 6. And now we've got three sixes. We could stop there, but of course we're not going to. Maybe we should have. I don't know. Um, I mean, this is another scenario where if I spend a card, I could probably kill them in one, one, one hit. So have to use cards. My dog is here. You might hear him sneezing in the background. Feels so bad using these cards against like these easier enemies. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So my options are gain evasive, inflict bounty, and knockdown. All in one fell swoop. The problem is knockdown doesn't really do enough. Or pistol whip, get an evasive, and knockdown, and one undefendable damage out. Um, but then I have to get rid of cards anyway, so we'll just kill them. Um, I'm already halfway through my ability stack, so maybe I'll see some of these cards. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But we will cast six it. Turn this four into a six. I feel like this is a newbie mistake using these cards instead of just having diamond hands and holding on to it. It's going to cost one CP. So I'm going to be doing 8 undefendable damage. Um, I will use a reload. And I got a, a 6, so that's um, 11 undefendable damage. So they're not even going to get any kind of offensive phase. So we are going to roll the loot die. We rolled an 8. Oh my, it's like... The worst outcome. I'm not even sure the order. I'm not sure if my discard phases happens before loot or not. It probably does, but we're kind of in it already. Anyway, um, this lets me draw two cards. So this is what I drew. Drew ways to get CP. I drew ways to get a showdown. I don't actually know when the loot phase happens like do i still get another main phase uh do i want to look this up while recording and take more time probably a bad idea um like when does the round end exactly um yep end of battle that's the boss battle I'm looking in the wrong spot um oh so it seems like at the end of turn, I so I get my whole phase, but I don't draw the loot yet. Then I discard down, and then I draw the loot. And I guess I keep that loot until my next end of turn phase. That's my interpretation. So that's quickly scanning this. So that's what we're gonna do, and I'll find out point if I'm incorrect. So we're gonna put these back here. One second. Oh, I had to fix something. Um. All right. So let's get rid of this. I have to draw down or spend cards. Three, four, five, seven. Looks like I get rid of one card. A. Well, I can actually use a card first. You know what? Double up is what I should do. Um. No. I am. Gonna get rid of this run and gun, I think. 
probably regret it later. But yeah, so I get a CP. So, and down the six cards, now I get my loots. So I did get the showdown three. So I will put that out immediately at the beginning of the turn. Okay. All right, so we are going to continue east. I'm going to spawn a purple monster. Alternatively, I could pay four and spawn a weak. And I could sell cards to do that this time. I think I'd rather just fight the stronger monster, probably, maybe. I don't know. I have four CP exactly right now. Put a lot of cards. Um, I don't know what the right answer is here. I'm going to have to fight two more level threes right after this if I want to explore the entire map. But four CP is kind of a lot. <sighs> yeah, we're going to fight because that's probably the smarter answer. So this is what we're fighting. We're fighting a holy see a lot. Um, no other effects from this tile, so we'll put this back. So, 16 health. Four CP. Um, yep, so I turn first, I could heal. I'm not going to. Um, they don't have first strike, so I'm gonna get a reload. Yet another card, which is a get that out of here. Also, let's get here as well. Um, lots of ways to get rid of effects right now. So now that we have that, let's spend some cards. First, let's get paid. Getting paid gives me two CP. And then we're going to upgrade our showdown. We're going to lose three CP. So I'm still at seven cards in my hand. Um, so I got to find ways to use these cards or sell them. So we're going to attack. So let's look at their defensive role. They can deal damage and they can prevent a whole bunch of damage. So it looks like undefendable damage is the way to go. So we're going to keep at least one six. Roll a second time. Well, I don't like this roll at all. This is where it all falls apart on me here. I can change the values of any two dice if I need it. Um, this is where all those cards that let me dice into other things would come into play. So we're gonna re we're just gonna reroll all this. I I have nothing good. I can deal four damage with that roll, and that's about it. And I don't like that. So so did I come out ahead? Maybe. Maybe I did. I kind of was hoping to get Bounty Hunter 2 for this one, to get my bounty out, deal some undefendable damage. Um, knockdown's not that good, but it is what I rolled. I did not get my evasive. Well, I did with Pistol Whip, I guess. Um, yep, so we're gonna, we're gonna Pistol Whip him again. We will get it one evasive. Uh, we will inflict knockdown, which isn't helpful yet. Probably won't be helpful at all. Um, hmm. What else could I do? Sorry. We change the values of any two dice. But I can't kill him in one turn. And I can't get my ultimate up, so it's probably not worth doing that. So yeah, we're just gonna do this, spend our reload. Get one free reload, uh, reroll. Well, I now have a use for this Wild West card, which lets me um, 
get a reload and deal one additional damage. Get a reroll on the reload. So three horrible rolls. So I'm gonna be dealing two extra damage. So three total. Don't have anything interesting left to do with my cards, but I do have six cards, so I don't have to discard down. So they're gonna take three damage. Not a great turn. Not a great turn at all. One, two, three. But it is undefendable, so that's I guess good. So they're gonna take their turn now. Let's see what they do to me. The first uh ooh, I knocked the camera. It's my my fear. We don't wanna do that. I had it perfect. Let's stay. Let's check. Okay, I think we, we salvaged it. Um they get rid of their knockdown first. So um they are gonna lose two CP. Like I said, probably not that important for this, but we still need to track it. Um okay, so they are going for two whites and three yellows. They got three of their their goal. They are halfway. They gotta reroll this red dice. And they don't get what they're looking for. So let's see what happens. They have a passive on a fail. So they don't get their active, which would have done seven damage to me. Um, let's hold this up, maybe. Makes sense to read it. Okay. Why? So hard to keep on YouTube make this look so easy. Okay, so they would have done seven damage to me. Plus, they would have added a whole bunch of damage, and they would have healed. I don't understand the heal two times how many red since they need two white, three yellow. So, hmm. I feel like I'm reading this card wrong. Oh, okay. That they has that has to do with this. They roll three dice and then they heal. Or okay, that makes sense. So they failed. Okay. Um, I was correct and I know what I'm talking about again. All right. So they failed. So they deal two undefendable damage and they heal one. So not not too bad. I'll take that. I didn't even need to spend a card to force that to happen. So I take two damage. One, two. Um, they heal one up to 14 and I'm down to 31. Okay. So that is their turn. It is my turn. I'm going to get a, uh, upkeep reload, um, income phase. I'm going to get a card. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna show a card. Better D. Chosen player may perform an additional roll attempt. Uh, with up to five dice, so extra rolls, pretty good. Um, and I get a CP points. So now I am on the offense. So uh, I'm gonna keep uh, the two sixes. Is that fourteen? So yeah. I mean, the pretty typical keep two and go for more, I think. So this time I can inflict bounty um, and then deal two undefendable damage, which I think is what I might stop at this turn. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to inflict bounty. Um, so now he gets the bounty first and then. He takes three undefendable damage plus whatever I get for my reload. Gonna reload or uh, reroll that. Ever since I upgraded Quick Draw, it's been doing worse. Okay, uh, so it's gonna be taking four undefendable damage total. And we like undefendable, especially with this guy. Um, so they they attack me now. So again, they're going for three yellows, two whites. Actually, no, at the my turn, I gotta get rid of a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this 
double up would let me draw two cards. Um, actually, yeah, because if I use it, I still got a discard down. And I don't have too many upgrades left. This is a rough one. You know what? I am going to... I'm going to use it. I want to cycle through my deck. So it seems silly. I'm going to spend a CP. I'm going to draw two cards. Um, I did get this empowered, which lets me do a lot of upgraded damage. And wanted, uh, which lets me inflict. Now I got to get rid of two. So I'm going to sell the wanted immediately. For one CP. And I am going to remove a status effect token. So what's the difference between these? Remove a status effect from a chosen player. Remove a status effect token from a chosen player. I don't want one costs more than the other, so I'll get rid of the one that costs more. There you go. Um, I wanted to keep both of those. But um, I couldn't. Um, why is it not working? Pressing the button. There we go. I got rid of the bye bye and the wanted. So tough choices when you gotta spend cards for no good reason. All right. Now it's their turn. So they got two, three dice they were looking for. Yeah, they only want two whites, so they need two more yellows. So they do not get what they want again. So again, two undefendable damage. I could try to evade it, but I'm not going to. I'll just take the damage. I like when damage comes in small amounts like this. And they do heal one. So now my bounty counteracts their passive healing. Um... So it is my turn. I'll take a reload and another card. Um, not a hundred percent sure what happens when you get a card that you already have an upgrade for. I want to say I'm allowed to just discard this and draw another one. I don't want to spend time looking it up right now, so I will make a note to look it up after, but I think that's how it works. I remember reading something about that. It might only be during the loot phase. I'm not 100% sure, but I can't actually get this out since I have the showdown three, so in my head that makes sense, but it's another remove all status effects. Um, oh, this is all status effect tokens well, that's not good it takes away good ones too um but i guess it could potentially be good for um bad guys i don't know anyway it is now my turn i'm not going to spend any cards so now that i got my bounty out still want to do undefendable damage any chance i get because their defense is just too strong but i would not mind slowly getting my evades up too hopefully they never hit their that roll so i think i'm just gonna well let's see what i roll i'm gonna keep these three i'm gonna re-roll these two Okay. See, that doesn't really change anything for me. I guess the thing that would change is if I re-roll this one and get a uh, short trait, maybe I'll go for the showdown, but I won't because he can defend a lot. He like multiplies and adds damage. Um, so I guess at most it's, he can block eight of it. So yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get the evasive. Kind of chip him away, I guess. And uh, we'll inflict knockdown again. Maybe that will be more useful for the rest of this fight. 
Um, then I get a deal two plus. Oh, it's like six in a row. So I'm gonna deal three undefendable damage. One, two, three. Puts the enemy at eight. Um, I have to get rid of a card. Oh, I could have gone twice as no I'm, I'm holding on to that. I don't need it for this this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this what status effect. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna I'm gonna discard this just to draw another card. And I get this. Let me re-roll. Now I still have to get rid of a card. Okay, I just realized this is only during um, defense, which is, this is like the least useful for me. So I should have got rid of that a long time ago, and I did not. So that's an easy decision. I get one CP. There we go. Problem solved. They get to go. They are knocked down. So um, they lose two CP. They are officially at zero CP. So next time I knock them down, that's good. However, this is a horrible roll for me because they got everything they wanted on their first roll. Um, so I'm gonna try to use a helping hand and force them to re-roll a dice. Don't know how this works though with like the whole I'm assuming, okay, this is what I assume. Uh, hopefully I'm not incorrect on in this. They're rolling five dice. They got what they wanted. They're done rolling, and now I get to force them to re-roll one dice. Um I don't think they get two more re-rolls after this. I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's how that would work because they like an offensive roll phase they're choosing to stop and then you're like bam well now you're done i have not played the pvp so i don't actually know if that scenario comes up a lot but i from the way i read the rules i think that's how it works hopefully i'm not wrong anyway uh someone will correct me i'm sure if i'm incorrect so i stop them from doing their offensive roll uh so they get the passive they do two more damage to me and heal one Uh, so that's it. That's all they're gonna do. So it's now my turn. Uh, upkeep. Gonna get a reload. Gonna get another card, which is a uh, in the chamber. Gain a reload. This is something that's I'll probably just use immediately. Um, and I get a CP, and I'll spend the CP immediately to 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 get the extra reload. So. That's taken care of. All right, so now, I mean, pistol whipping right now is what I'm gonna do every time it comes up, um, unless I get lucky and somehow get a lot, of, a lot of sixes, which I don't. So uh, it's gonna be one plus one, two, three undefendable damage and they get knocked down all right and uh i have six cards i have five cards actually i didn't even need to how did i get down to five cards what did i do um i don't know so that's the end of my turn they go um they get rid of their knockdown they don't get an offensive phase so it comes back to me I'm going to get my reload back. Um, I'm going to get to draw a card. It is my other upgrade, so we are going to cast that immediately. But before I do, I get one CP, but then I immediately spend two during the main phase to get out my revolver. And that is my income phase. Um, so now we attack. We got one six. 
Um, I need to do six damage, so we're gonna keep rolling. So now I'm in this weird place of, what do I keep? Um, oh, I don't know if I took my evasive last turn. I don't think I did. Hopefully this is not cheating, but I did get a pistol whip, which also gives me an evasive, and I don't think I took it. Um, anyway, uh, now I'm in a not great spot. Because I don't have a guaranteed pistol whip, and I don't have a guaranteed dead eye, but I do have one yellow. So do I roll one dice and try to get the yellow, or do I roll two dice and try to get the six? I guess I will just go for broke and try to get the six, and otherwise I'll use a card if things go poorly. Things did not go poorly. I got the six, so I'm dealing uh, eight undefendable damage. Uh, nine technically oh every time i attack with bounty i get a cp point so i'm pretty sure i have at least two more i totally forgot to do that i haven't really put bounty out this whole time probably actually was three but i'll i'll chip myself and, and lose one but yeah every time i attack with bounty i'm supposed to give myself plus one uh cp note to self um yeah, so he's dead. Bye bye. I do get a tier three loot. Okay, that's a, yet again another four. This dice likes giving me fours for some reason. Uh, so that's a plus three damage. And uh, yep, I'm gonna move down. I think I have less than six cards. Yep. Um, so we're gonna. Get a sixth salve. Um, we're gonna get our second golden dice piece. Put it there. And we're gonna flip this over. And pull keep. We spawn a legendary altar and we pay five and spawn a purple. Hmm. You know what? I feel okay paying the five. I mean, if. I fight a legendary, I do get a guaranteed loot card, but I still got a whole nother legendary guy to kill. I haven't faced enough of them to know how strong they are, so we're just gonna pay the five since we got it. And we'll fight a purple. Whether that's the, the right way to go or not, I don't know. So we are fighting a basilisk. Starts with 14 health. Um, two CP does put him in knockdown territories. Does not have first strike, so first things first. I could heal with a salve. I am not going to. You have six, right? Yeah, I do. Um. So then I get a card. Um. Let's me reroll. Uh, roll a dice, and I can gain half the value of CP. So, you know what? We're just going to use this right away. I just spent a lot of CP, so... Um, well, do they have any way to take away CP? They do not. So, yeah, let's just use it right away. So we're going to get two of that CP back. Not the worst. And then we get one for the actual income point. Okay. Uh, so, it is upkeep time. Some time. Now it is cast cards time, which I'm not going to. Well, I did, I guess. I'm not gonna cast another one. So now we fight. So the Basilisk only has 14 health. They deal a lot of damage, they deal a lot of poison, but it's blockable, so they don't defend either other than dealing damage so i feel safe just going for big damage numbers problem is i don't know what that looks like right now i think that's a small straight or a large straight i mean let's see i'm maxed up on bounty right now 
for on evasive. I would not mind getting a bounty out. Yeah, we're gonna go for it straight. We're gonna keep two, four, five, and see how this goes. Seems like it went pretty well. We got two, three, four, five, six. Um. So I guess we just do the guaranteed eight damage instead of gambling. Um. I mean, we could kill him right now. We'll probably we'll 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 try. First, we'll reload. So we're doing fan the hammer two. Arch straight two three four five six deal eight damage. Get a reload roll. Finally get plus three. So we are doing eleven damage. She's got fourteen health, and we have this plus three token. So we're gonna use that. Fourteen damage going toward the basilisk. They get a defensive roll. Four dice. On. A red, they inflict poison. So let's see what poison does. So a poison, um, player afflicted with poison is dealt one damage for poison during their upkeep phase and stacks three times. Okay, so I have a poison. They are taking 14 damage, I believe. Eight plus three plus three is 14. And they have 14 health, so that's it. They die. I don't get my evasive because I'm maxed out, but I do get poisoned. I get the poison. They and they're not poisoned, so they're dead. I finish my turn, and I am going to cast Get That Out of Here, um, which lets me get rid of a status effect, so I'm going to get rid of the poison. Bye-bye, poison. And um, that's it. Uh, I'm going to roll the loot die. First, I'm going to remove their dice. There we go. Ten. A ten lets me heal four health. One, two, three, four. Uh, what did I start at? 27. Yeah, that's correct. I wasn't sure if I hit the button too many times. Uh, yes, that's that was easier than I thought it would be. Those are famous last words, I'm sure. I did have to spend a card. Um, hope I spent the CP point. All right, so anyway, we continue on with our quest then. I have less than six cards. I have four cards in my hand now. Uh, we're gonna get a seventh salve. We are going to run into this last purple one right here. Uh, Cascade Canyon, remove status effects from the active player in Troth 3. That feels bad. I just spent a card to do that. And now I have a lot of cards. And I just lost all these good things. The only downside with evasive is you tend to lose them without actually evading. But I do get three cards. So let's see what I get. Tip it, uh, triple up, and my upgraded defensive card. So I get a lot more card draw. I can increase the value of a die. And my upgraded defense. Um, so now I fight a purple thing. An epic monster. A crimson archer, okay. They deal a lot of damage that can be blocked, but I just lost all my evasives. They inflict fine, which I have no idea what that is. We'll wait and see when that comes out. And on their defense, they deal damage, so they don't block, so that's good. So they are 14 with three uh, CP. They do not have first strike, so first things first, I could heal. I'm not going to. They don't have first strike. So I'm going to do, do my upkeep. I get a reload. I am officially through my whole deck, so I'm going to shuffle. Pretty sure you shuffle, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to just flip it, but I think I shuffle. I don't think this is Aeon's Edge or Aeon's End. Um, all right, 
I draw a card. I drew a Wild West. When you spend a reload, you may reroll uh, that die anytime if you do. So I'll probably get rid of that very quickly. And I get a CP. All right. Uh, so I'm going to get my upgraded dual out, which is going to cost three. I think I'm fully maxed now. I do have seven cards um, in my hand. So get my Wild West ready in case I, in case I need it. Anyway, let's attack. So I'm liking this already. I think I am anyway. I'm not. We're gonna keep the two sixes. We'll re-roll, see what we get. Same thing. Two, three, five, six. So what do I want out of this deal? They are gonna attack no matter what. Something that can give me evasive would be great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for fan the hammer. I'm gonna, what what are my options here? Can tip it. I can reroll dice. I have a lot of options if I don't get what I'm looking for. So, we'll we'll see if I can get a four. I got a three, so I am gonna tip it. Cost one CP. Gonna make this into a four. So I do have a full straight, so I do get the fan the hammer, so I'm back up to evasive. Maybe dealing eight damage plus whatever my reload gives me. So that's two damage. I will I'll reroll. Still two damage. So I'm dealing ten damage. They do get a defensive roll. They're gonna be rolling four dice. Do the math. So they're going to be doing two damage plus just two damage on a red. This damage is dealt to all engaged opponents, which is irrelevant because this is solo. So two damage to me. I'm okay with that. They took, what did I say? 10 damage, right? Eight from Fan the Hammer, two from my reload. So they are at, they should be at four. There we go. I think, yeah, I don't think they took an extra damage from anywhere. So, um, okay. So they are going to get a turn now. So they are going to attack. They're looking for yellows. They got two. Still only have two. So ultimately they got three. So they're gonna be dealing six damage. They have no three of a kind, so I don't have to worry about vine. So actually no, they're gonna be dealing seven damage. So first I get a defensive roll. So I'm gonna roll. And I beat theirs so it's going to take their seven damage it's going to half it to 3.5 um and take the damage rounded up um so four damage oh wait prevent half damage rounded up so i'm going to prevent four damage so i'm only taking three damage i'll yeah i'll go with that one two three uh, so 26 to 4. Um, yeah, that's it. That's their whole turn. I could have done something, probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6 cards, but I, I'm okay with that outcome. So again, upkeep, 1. Uh, I get a card. Ah, I get to draw more cards. I have so many of these in my hand right now. I might just start casting them to get rid of them. We'll see. Um, I get a CP. Let's attack and see how it goes first. I just need four undefensive damage. 
right now um i can deal six damage and they don't block damage so i might as well just keep this roll get the evasive hopefully i don't lose the evasive and i don't have to use my reload yeah so six damage they have four they're gonna get a defensive roll let's see what they get so they are dealing three damage two from the whites um plus one from the yellow and they attack everybody but only three so three damage one two three and they die so i'm gonna roll the loot dice actually no, i have to get rid of a card first um i'll get rid of the wild west get a cp now i'm gonna roll the loot die a 19 which is another oh it's an epic card i don't think i've gotten that same thing uh sorry i'm not supposed to look at it i didn't even look at it i just flipped it over so um i'm gonna sleeve it that's what i meant to do i'm gonna slot it under here unidentified i have not gotten a lot of gold i just realized i feel like a Got a lot more gold last time I did this, but oh well. Um, yeah, so that is that. I have killed that enemy. So we press on. We have at most three more battles left, so we're getting there. Hopefully future games will be a lot quicker. I think I can speed this up quite a bit once I'm used to everything. All right. So I'm down to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we're gonna take out this easy one first, then we'll go up and then we'll come back down. Oops. So storefront, you may pay three to gain two loot. If desired, you may sell cards at this time. Uh sure, I guess. I don't know how worth it that actually is. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I've got a lot of cards to spend in my hand and i'll probably just end up rolling like a seven or eight and drawing more so um, we will just fight the blue enemy the rare enemy so an extra premage 13 health 2 cp okay so beginning of the turn i could heal i'm not going to heal uh they don't have first strike so I am going to get a reload during my upkeep. I'm going to draw a card, get my status effect card back. Um, I get a CP point, I think, and we fight. Well, I have a lot of something, but nothing that does anything for me really so let's look at him and see what we want to do he only is going for three if he gets it he gets stronger he inflicts stuff and then does damage for defense he gets stronger too so really care about undefendable damage right now we care about blasting him out as fast as possible so the way we do that is with a straight with a straight so we're going to keep a four five and we'll reroll these three i'm not loving my dice rolls but we're going to stick with what we've got all right, so I did get the large straight six, five, four, three, two. All right, so we have some options here. I can get the guaranteed eight, or I can gamble for nine. They only have 13. So I might be able to kill them with two reloads. Um, I'm not gonna use my empowered on them. Yeah, none of these give me damage. The reloads. 
are all not. Don't think I can use them. I don't know if I can use them for the the results of the showdown. Yeah, I guess we'll gamble. I haven't used this yet. Well, no, actually, I got the full straight. We're not gonna. We'll just get the eight damage, and we'll we'll do two reloads, and we'll hope to get four. I get two rerolls on that. That's smarter, I think. I need five. Oh, wait, I'm doing eight. I'm only doing eight damage. They have fourteen health. I doubt I'm gonna get six out of this. Oh, this feels bad to do. But instead, I'm going to do it. I do have a card somewhere in my deck that lets me get stuff out. And I have to use a card anyway. So I'm going to keep. I'm going to use one reload first. Let's see what I get on my first reload. All right. So it would be two. Not 10 damage. No matter what, I can't kill him. So I'm going to use this card. Empowered two. Oops. Um. Increase my attack damage by three for each ability I've upgraded to a maximum of six. So I'm just going to do straight up uh, 10 plus six, 16 damage. Um, feels bad, but I got to use a card anyway. So I lose CP. So they do, they still get a defensive roll. It's not that bad of a roll, but probably didn't need to do that. So they're gaining one chaos for each yellow. So they get one chaos and then they're gonna deal one one chaos damage. So I take one damage. Probably would have been smarter to let them roll and attack me. I could have evaded it and then used the whole nother round. But having six cards really, really makes those decisions harder. Anyway, he's dead. Um going to roll the loot dice on a 14 i get two gold now we're going to fight our first major boss so first we get our third key and we immediately get this loot too so i rolled a 13 um which is just two more two more gold um, all right, so let's flip this over. I immediately get two CP, which makes me think I'm gonna afford to lose CP here. Uh, choose gold or treasure and then roll one die. If gold gain that much gold equal to the value of my treasure, four to six gain uh, a legendary treasure. Um, I feel like I need the gold. I already have an epic and a rare that I need to pay for. Um, which feels bad either way. I need to get the 35 gold. I can't remember if I get to sell the other loot cards I don't take. I think I do. Actually, no, I have to identify these cards. I think that's all I have to do to get them. So I have I have enough gold. All right, we'll go for yeah, but the gold's guaranteed. Let's go for the guaranteed gold. It's bad, but I'm about to get another legendary roll anyway. So uh, yeah, let's just get the gold. The three gold. Bad decision, probably get back now i feel like most people would probably get the loot but all it does is give us another card that we can't pay for unless we are able to pay by selling the other ones which then i feel stupid but oh well too late so um yeah we fight something big so the entry mage is done we've wait what grab the wrong thing Grabbed a portal crawl. Okay, Whispering Death. All right, so they do get a boss hand token, which 
those are confusing enough, but we'll reread the rules for that. I haven't actually had to really use them yet. I believe they use them whenever I use my ultimate or whenever they don't get an attack off, but it seems like they're pretty much guaranteed to get an attack off, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, all right. So at the beginning of my turn, I could heal. What is collateral damage? That's a new one. You gotta look that up. I feel like that's not still avoidable, not enhanceable. Special targeting rules. Damage that does not have a target and therefore does not qualify as an attack. So it's not defendable, but is avoidable, cannot be enhanced. Okay. Not sure why. So what's why is undefendable? Oh, undefendable is enhanceable. Okay. Feels weird. Okay. So um upkeep phase. Get a reload. Income phase. Get a card. Get a recall scroll. So I can get that damage back. Um, and uh, what is their health? 30 health, okay. This, this just got big numbers. But only two CP, so. All right, um, so I'm gonna attack, I think. Well, yeah, I'm gonna attack. All right, so we are looking to get our bounty out first. So what are my options for that? Um, I feel like I need to get sixes. So I'm just gonna reroll all these. Or, no, yeah, I need four of a kind to get a knockdown from every one. So. so I have one six. I could just Pistol whip. No, I need to get my bounty out, and I don't have a card that directly does that. So, um, bounty here, bounty there, bounty. I could get my bounty out right now, but I wouldn't be doing any damage, and I'd be getting too evasive, which is nice. So we're gonna we're gonna reroll all four of these and hope for the best. It was not the best. It was the worst. So I don't have a straight, um, four damage. Um, I'm gonna reroll up to two dice, I think. I'm gonna reroll these two. So I'm gonna do a try, try again. It's a, lets me reroll two dice and it costs nothing. I'm looking for a six. Still no six. So I will, Change the values of any two dice. And it costs three CP to do. One, two, three. And I'm just gonna give myself two sixes. This way I can instead do enforcer. I gain an evasive, which I don't need, but I do inflict bounty. And I inflict knockdown, which I think it's going to be pretty clutch if we can keep that on him. And then I'm down to below six cards. I am going to do nothing. I'm not going to do anything yet. I'm going to let them attack me and see how it goes. So they're looking for five reds. They already have two. So if they didn't get the red, the reds, they'd be able to use that hand to re-roll, I believe, potentially. But they got at least two, so we keep going. One more. Okay. Uh, so they're going to be dealing four collateral damage to me. Um, I can evade it still. It's still avoidable. So it's just not defendable, so I can't use this. Uh, so I will try to evade. I fail my first evade. I will try to evade again. I succeed on my second evade, so I take no damage. So now it is my turn. Um, 
I maxed up on reloads. I will draw a card. Lecturer wanted, um, it lets me inflict bounty. So I didn't even need to, maybe I'll hold on to that for the next fight if I can do so. Um, I get a CP and then I think I'm just gonna start rolling. So now we're looking for anything that gives us knockdown. So our options for knockdown are pistol whip, dead eye, enforcer, or four battalion. Um, so interestingly enough, revolver also lets us do it. Um, might not be worth trying for, but we haven't ever gotten four of a kind out of this and six damage is a lot. They might be able to avoid it, but then we just get another turn anyway. So, um, I obviously like the pistol whip better. I get an evasive and minimal damage, but. Let's try for the four of a kind. I've never actually gotten that to trigger, so. And there's a chance I never do. Let's try one more time. Okay, we we did get it. So we got four ones. Um, should probably do those closer. All right, so four ones. I can do a revolver. Um, oh wait, we forgot. They were knocked down already. They lost their two CP points. Um, now they are knocked down again, and I'm attacking them with six plus one reload. We got, so six plus three is nine, plus the bounty is 10. I get a CP point uh, for attacking. They get a defense roll. If they roll a red, they block all of it. No red, so they're taking 10 damage, so not a bad start. Um, so it is my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to let them attack me now. They are knocked out, knocked down. Um, so they, they skip their, uh, roll face. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. It feels weird. I don't know if the God's hand gets around that. Keep calling it God's hand. I'm not sure. King's hand. Read, let me just read the rules on that real quick. I feel like the King's hand has nothing to do with that. Um, the boss minion fails to act in an ability during their offensive role for any reason. But this makes it so that they skip their offensive role phase. So, yeah. Um, I, my interpretation would be that nothing happens and I get to go again. So upkeep card, same Z's. Oops. Need to remove all that. Plus one CP. Now I have a bunch of cards. Um, I'm going to get rid of my double up. Or a CP. I could have done that later. Actually, yeah, I could have done it later, but I could also do it now. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to attack. Um, I went for it last time. It kind of worked out. I know they keep rolling reds. It's going to take even longer. Um, we will go for the pistol whip this time. You know what, we're going to roll four. Maybe we'll get the, the dead eye too. I feel like this is going to go bad. I'm the smart thing. No. Um, yeah, that went bad. Well, I can still give knockdown, but I don't do any damage this turn if I do that. I don't have any cheap card to move. Same Z's. I could same Z's and get my ultimate out, but it's like a waste right now. Oh wait, no, it's not a waste. I'll use it. So I will spend a CP. Some reason I thought this is the one that does two, but we'll just turn one of these into a six. So that lets me do eight plus one, nine, undefendable damage. I get a CP for attacking, and I will use a reload. 
I will reroll. And um, so what is that? Nine, 12, 12 undefendable damage. Okay. Um, so they get a turn. Well, I have to discard. No, I don't. Three, I have five cards. Um, they get a this. They get a turn. They got, can't pay for their knockdown. So it is now my turn again. I get an upkeep. I get a reload. I could get a get a uh, reload right now with this. Don't need to spend it yet. Um, so I will attack. They're down to eight. So we're gonna just do the smart thing, and we're gonna take the pistol whip. Well, we'll roll. The, we'll re-roll these two dice once. See what we get. So we're gonna pistol whip. Uh, knock down. We do one plus one plus. So three undefendable damage. One, two, three. They're knocked down. They don't get a turn. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So upkeep. Um, I get a card. One more time. Um, I get an additional roll attempt. Um, I will. What will I do? I will roll. Oh, I get a CP. Um. Yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll go for the four with the kind knockdown. It's probably a bad idea, but oof, this feels like a horrible situation to be in now. I can get a reroll if I really mess this up, but we'll go for the four of a kind again. We didn't get it. Um, I mean, the good news is, well, no, there is no good news. The good news is, as long as they don't defend everything, they die. And I can't force them to reroll. I don't think I have anything that lets me do that. Um, so first, reload. I don't know what just happened. My dice like got stuck somewhere. That's never happened before. Um, reload. All right, so I'll be doing nine damage. Um, totally forgot if I got five. I don't remember if I got five blues or four blues, but either way, it will kill them. So it doesn't really matter. You only have five health left. What matters is if they defend against it, which they don't, so they die. Um, and I get a CP from the bounty. So they are dead. That worked out pretty well. I'm gonna get to roll the loot die, the legendary loot. So we got a 15, which gives us, ooh, another rare, not an epic. So another rare. I need four more gold to be able to Look at all these cards. Um, okay, so that's that. We now go to the final boss. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, do I have more than six cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. I do. I'm at a, I would have spent this to get a reload. Actually, I probably wouldn't have. Well, yeah, I will. But it was a CP. Or five, and I could have done that second main phase, then would have had the discard after, but I wasn't. All right, we're gonna flip this over. I think this is the same every time. I don't remember exactly. So I get two CP. Puts me at 11 CP. I think the highest is 15. Uh, three gold. So close to uh, 30. So we're gonna spawn a legendary. Goblin Horde, and it gets two, um, gets two King's Hand. Sorry, I forgot that the setup card explains some of this too. I had to double check it. 
but it seems like I have played correctly so far. Um, so I have seven salves. So first, first, this enemy has 25 health, six CP. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get knocked down. Ugh, my back is hurting. Um, Deal damage equal to half your health rounded up. If the damage is less than equal to five, this attack becomes undefendable. So they can do a lot of damage. Right off the bat, they can do like 13 damage. Fail, they heal and remove all positive status effects from the active player. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Unique defense. All damage received as a result of an opponent's attack is reduced to a maximum of six. So we really want undefendable damage here, it seems like. Okay, well, they can't kill me on the first turn, so I'm not going to heal. So uh, they don't have first strike. So on the hero step, I will draw a card. Um, let's me get rid of, let's me get rid of, um, status effects on somebody in a CP. I will start my turn with a roll, I think. No, I will start my turn. I can, yeah, I'm going to do this right from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to cast it. It costs two CP. Uh, let's me inflict bounty on the chosen opponent. So, boom. Don't have to worry about doing that. And then I am going to immediately... I can do this whenever I want, so I'm not going to do that yet. It's a red card. It's an instant. So I'm going to I'm gonna fight. I'm going to attack. Not my favorite starting roll, I don't think. Although, not the worst either. Um, actually, no, we wanted to be undefendable, we said. But doing some damage to start is not too bad. Even reduced. So, five, three, two, no sixes. What do I have that lets me mess with dice? Do I have anything? I get one more reroll. That's it. That's all I get to do. So we're going to aim for four here. No, we're aiming for four and then a one or six. It's That's not it. That's like good. We don't want that. Well, let's just see what I get. So I got a six, five. Three, a two, and another three. Kind of bad all around. I need a four. Or I want the evasive. I'm gonna roll this and this. Mm -hmm. I mean, knockdown will eventually be good after three turns, but it's a lot. I'm gonna reroll this. I think. I'm trying to get take cover or ban the hammer. That's what I'm aiming to do with what I have. I got I got none of it. So what do I what do I have? Deal four damage. Man oh man. So I am gonna draw three cards. That's what I'm gonna do. Now is the time to do this, I think. I'm going to spend 2 CP. This is red, so it's an instant. I can do it whenever. Um, add damage. Remove a status effect. All of this is bad. I was hoping to get something that lets me affect my roll. I did not get it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of discarding, probably. Maybe. <laughs> I don't like this situation I'm in. All right, I'm going to do one more time, which lets me reroll. Um, 
I'm gonna re-roll this six and just hope that I get four. This is all bad. I keep saying that. You know what? We're gonna do the smart thing here. I'm gonna go for one more yellow. Reroll all this. All right. I think that was the smart thing. I don't know for sure, but I got a pistol whip, which gives me another evasive. We want evasives right now. I get to inflict knockdown, which maybe may or may not eventually do something. Um, I have bounty, so I'm gonna be dealing three, uh, two damage, two undefendable damage. I have a reload. Which gives me two. Then I'm gonna do an eat lead. Which lets me roll all so I'm at i I'm at four. Four damage right now. Undefendable damage. Eat lead. Let me put that out so you can so you can read it. Uh adds another two damage. So six undefendable damage. Can I do anything else with what I got? It's undefendable right now, so we're gonna do this as well. We're gonna cast the recall scroll. And we're gonna pull out this damage sword empowered. We're gonna we're gonna cast that right now, which has another six. So one from the pistol whip, one from the bounty, two from the reload, two from the Eat lead, another six from this. If my math is correct, that's 12 undefensible damage. Um, yeah, 12 undefendable damage. They can't defend against me. So they are down to 13 damage. This all goes away. That goes away. I do not have to discard. I'm under six. And they go. So they are aiming for five whites. They are knocked down. So first they lose two CP. Probably won't be important, but we track it anyway. So they got two whites, four whites, five whites. So they deal damage equal to one half. Oh, my health. Deal damage equal to one half my health well your health i feel like it's their health right it's how many goblins and the card reads this as they the player again someone can correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's their health deal damage equal to one half your health so that's the goblin horde's health they have 13, 13 divided by two is seven and a half. No, six and a half. Round it up to seven. Um, so that's defendable damage. So first we are going to roll our duel. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's roll our duel. We beat their roll and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit them with it. So they are down to 10 health. I still have seven damage coming to me. We're gonna try to evade it. We'll see what happens. I fail the first one. I fail the second evade, but I have this card in my hand. Not this time. Uh, chosen player prevents six incoming damage, so their seven damage becomes one damage, and I take one damage, and that's it. They're done with their turn. So I have to deal 10 damage on this turn somehow. So I get a CP, I get a reload, I get a card. Again, I believe I draw another card. I'm not 100% sure on that. Helping hand, select one of your opponent's dice and force them to reroll it. Okay. Um, okay. So I am going to attack, 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 attack. I 
don't love that role. I like undefendable damage right now. Do you have any way to um yeah, I have no way to connect roles, so at the very least I can try to get more invasive. So I'm gonna do that. Keep this. Keep three of those. I'll roll this looking for a yellow. No, I need two yellows. What am I talking about? I, mean, I feel like at this point it doesn't matter too much. They can heal a little bit though, so. Or I could just go for broke and go for that dead eye. Press the whip and keep letting them. You know what? It, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the takeover. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I will stop here and I will pistol whip because I don't want to be in a situation where I deal no damage, which can happen. If I reroll that six. Uh, there's two outcomes there where I, I roll no damage. Well, actually, if I roll a three, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. It still stops at six damage. Yeah, I'll just stop here. Um, so I'm doing one undefendable damage. Reload. Uh, plus another three, plus one. That's five undefendable damage. I get a CP. They lose five hit points. They're weaker now. Um, I will spend a card um, to get more CP. I get three CP. Okay. Um, it is now their turn. They're gonna attack me. They get four of their dice. And I'm going to force them to reroll one dice. Um so I lose the CP. They get their attack, so they deal damage equal to half of your health. Um, again, I feel like it has to be their health. I mean, how much different would this have gone? I mean, I still would have blocked six. I'd be down to like 15. It's weird. Um, I'm going to have to look this up after. I don't think it would matter either way. I think either way, I'd be okay. I have a million stabs. That's really the, the big difference. But if it's always half of my health, then they never can kill me, right? until I'm down to like two, right? Because I'd be like 10, five, three, two. Seems really safe that way as well. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with the your being with their health. Um, they have five health, so they deal three damage. Becomes undefendable. Um, so I take three undefendable damage. Um, yeah, that's it. My turn, I get a CP, I get a reload, I get a card. I can change one of my dice to a six. I'm going to attack. So right off the bat, I get my take cover. Um, I think I'm just gonna stop there because they have no way of reducing damage. So I'm gonna be dealing six damage, I get an evasive. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it really. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. So they die. I get to roll loot dice. I get a one. That was a good roll for sure. I get a common card. Gonna sleeve it. Goes under here. All right. So when this is over, this is how this works. Um, I think I'm done rolling, so we'll get rid of this. Uh, upon defeat, we immediately draw two common cards and, and two epic cards. So these are the... Oh, then we're going to take out the store card because we're up to right now. Uh, we are going to hide this. Um, 
So I think I have to do this one by one. Let me look this up. This is the kind of stuff that hopefully after more plays, I'll get a down shot. Uh, round the amount of gold dial up to the nearest five. I totally forgot about that. So I'm up to 30. Yay. Um, deal shop cards. Each player. Players may look at the loot cards, but not at any unidentified loot cards they, they gather during the portal crawl. Gain cards. Perform any of the actions any number of times. I can buy one of the cards that were dealt. I can identify and instantly get the card. Or I could sell any unidentified loot cards or any loot cards currently in my deck. I need to sell five each. You cannot sell cards during dealt to you during the step two. Um, you cannot sell common cards that have a crystal border. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So let's look at these here. Helping hands too. It's just an upgrade. Elven boots. I I might buy those, maybe. Um prosperity too. These are just all all just upgrades to things, I think. So that looks kind of new, but I haven't really had a problem yet of getting my ability free cards. Uh, so I think I'm going to blindly identify at least my epic card first before I make any decisions. So I have 30 gold. I'm going to spend 10. That puts me at 20. Better D3. A chosen player may spend, uh, may change the values of any die rolled as part of their rolled attempt during their defensive. All right, well, that's okay. We said earlier the better D is not the greatest card for me, but I took it, so it's in my deck now. Um, the real question is I like these elven boots enough? I mean, these are probably much better for somebody who doesn't get elusive a lot um and it is a common card like maybe there's elven boots to her um so yeah i guess i'll yolo and identify my two other cards i can always sell them i think i think i can sell them not sure i think actually maybe i can't i don't like getting more cards without knowing what they are that's the one mechanic of this i don't like but what are my other options? Get scenario points for unspent gold. I could get four points right now. Uh, all right, let's do one more. Like doing this blind. I feel like that should be reserved for epic or legendary, but I want to see. So, Falcon 2. Choose a salve on the map and collect it, or look at the boss's next three action cards. And put them back in the same order face up. That's not too bad. I well for this for the boss part, I feel like the the falcon part is not that good. Alright, I'm not gonna look at this last one. I'm gonna keep the last ten gold. But we'll flip it over and see what it is. Well, this card would have been better, in my opinion, to get rip us. Um Take three damage, but then get a salve, an extra salve. I think I would have liked that a lot better, personally. Um, rip. Because I don't think I, I think I just pay to unidentify it. So I don't get to like look at it first. All right, so that is it. I will update the score sheet. I mean, we can quickly just calculate it, uh, I believe. I would be at seven, nine, plus another five, 14, plus another 20, 34 points for this scenario. Not too bad. And the next scenario is the second boss. Um, the bosses are a little bit tougher. Um, knockdown doesn't work as well against them. It kind of works, but not nearly as well. So. Anyway, this was uh, my first recording of Dice Throne. I will be doing a lot more of these, hopefully faster. That's that's the uh, the key is to do this faster. But anyway, if you've been watching this whole time, thank you. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me 
how many rules mistakes I made um, so I can make less in the future. Thank you. See you later.